According to the Ministry of Civil Affairs, China's capital city Beijing has 416 nursing homes, with more beds in each home than anywhere else in the country, with an average of 284 beds in each by the end of 2013. However, this is still far from enough to serve the rapidly growing aging population. According to a Peking University report released last November, most of the city's nursing homes are scattered in the suburbs rather than downtown, and all the 11 districts and counties in Beijing need more beds in order to cater to demand. In addition to a shortage of nursing homes, the services the homes themselves provide are questionable, especially at privately run institutions. A report in September from the China Research Center on Aging revealed that low professional skills in services provided to the elderly is a major problem. In some nursing homes it surveyed, 74% of the nursing staff were migrant workers and former laborers, many of whom did not possess the necessary medical knowledge or skills befitting an employee of a nursing home. According to China Daily, many companies providing nursing services have voiced their difficulties in doing so, as they make very little profit, making it hard to afford professional staff. In Beijing, the installation of each bed attracts a government subsidy of at most eight thousand dollars, in addition to an ongoing contribution of less than one hundred dollars a month after that. But many in the industry say this is not enough to make the business viable. Gerontology professor Du Peng of Beijing's Renmin University said that building senior care facilities requires large outlays, and the wait for returns can be long, making it difficult for private companies to build facilities and manage them properly.